Hello guys, in this video we'll review the changes in Rust latest stable release Rust 1.88.0 release as of yesterday 26th of June 2025. On semantic versioning to when you review the release change set, it's a minor release but as we do always in my release review videos, we'll not just simply go through this block but we'll try to understand the change by running the code in this playground where we have the latest stable version and on my local where we have the prior version so you know we'll try to understand the difference and change in behavior and understand those changes and at the end of the video we'll together run this command to update our machine to the latest rust 1.88.0 so without further ado let's dive into it and let's start and as we start there is a link to my discord in description so make sure you join it let's start with the most awaited change let change we all have been using let statements inside if and while conditions, but we were not able to perform chaining. Let's try to understand with an example. Let's take this basic example. We have a let in our if condition and I'm running Rust 1.87.0 on my local. And since we know these conditions and if I run this, it will print 10. All good so far. But let's see what happens when we try to do some chaining. So v as 50 and right here instead of a single uh, condition we do let sum y as b and uh, x plus y is greater than uh, 30. And now we write this. Boom. We get an error saying let expressions are not stable. So we run we get the same error. Now let's try to run in the playground with the latest word, the latest stable version and boom we have our output so let chains are stable and they are super useful when you are using with if and while and you have to check for multiple similar conditions so this is exactly the snippet that we just reviewed uh, and remember it's only available if you are using Rust 2024 edition and not the prior editions like 2021 or before now let's talk about naked functions Rust now supports naked functions with no compiler generated epilogue or prologue. So let's talk about these terms, naked functions, you know, epilogue, prologue, and why don't we want to set up the compiler generated epilogue and prologue. First of all, a naked function is a function marked as naked attribute. So as you guys can see right here, it's marked with a naked attribute. This tells the Rust compiler not to generate the usual function prologue and epilogue so what is a prologue and epilogue the prologue sets up functions tag frame at the start and the epilogue cleans it up at the end so basically to, to manage the stack frame for the function to set up at the start and tear down at the end and why don't we want to do this is because in low level code like assembly uh, you know when we do context switches or interrupt handlers we need to control exactly what happens at the start and end of the function so compiler must not add its usual setup to start and clean up that's the reason why we want to control it ourselves instead giving the control to the compiler so for that reason we use naked functions to take that control of not setting up any you know stack frame management by at the start of the function and tear down at the end of the function so let's try to run uh, in the latest maybe just to see how it works so right here in our code we have a naked function and we are doing assembly no op which is basically a no operation and we just try to run this so in rust 1.88.0 it runs successfully but in prior version it will give you an error since it's not stable in the prior version and let's go ahead and move to the boolean configuration boolean configuration is super useful for conditional compilation if you have been using rust for cross-platform development or application that runs or builds or compiles differently for different platforms environments or different other uh, you know features or targets that we you want to set up but booleans were previously not supported so let's understand with an example how useful it would be let's take this example i have a couple of functions never compiled and always compile and the error we get is cfg true and false are experimental so we cannot use it in the prior versions on my machine but 
what if we want to use it if you have some features or target for which you want to compile you can just go ahead and paste here your conditional uh, feature or target whatever you want to but otherwise you can just use all and any as a workaround so remember it's just a workaround and now if we write we don't get any error so basically this is never compiled and this is always compiled but in the new version and we run the same example and right here as you can see we get this function is always compiled printed but if we try to run this instead and since it's never compiled it's false so we get an error saying it's not found in the scope so that's what uh, this boolean configuration helps us with you can read more about conditional compilation if you are interested i'll drop this link in the description uh, let's move to the next one which is cargo automatic cache cleaning this change is a great optimization for resource on disk or your machine now we all use crates you know we use them all the time when building rust application we use tokyo salte uh, axiom uh, you name it you know we have been using tons of crates and when we build our application cargo downloads and caches crates needed as dependencies historically these downloaded files would never be cleaned up leading to an unbounded amount of disk usage in cargo home directory now in this version cargo introduces a garbage collection mechanism to automatically clean up old files which is like uh, you know if not accessed for three months uh, if downloaded from network and if obtained from local then if not accessed within the one month now note this, this this is basically automatic you don't need to uh, do anything but you can opt out by using uh, dash offline or frozen flags so yeah try it out on your end and uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this and at the end let's talk about stabilized apis now these things exist in the prior versions as well but not just stable in the normal as well as the uh, const context in const functions and stuff so uh, you can try it out uh, for example you know conditional uh, extract or for hash map hash set and then there is hints there is as chunks as uh, r chunks and stuff uh, which you can uh, try out and there are a bunch of things which are stabilized in the const space as well so that's for all the changes uh, i'll drop this link in the description so give it a read and uh, if you have any questions feel free to drop in the comments and then let's run this command finally on our machine to uh, update so we can just copy and paste this command there you go the version is successfully updated on a machine i'll highly recommend you guys do it on your machine as well for your local as well as your production applications i'll highly recommend try to be as close as to the latest versions uh, you know we get performance based boost as well at least on compiler level which uh, in the prior versions uh, you don't get so i do share lots of articles related to that on my discord as well make sure you join it that's it for this video guys i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye